Hey everybody, welcome to Franny's Hair. Today I'll be showing you seven wigs by Ellen Villa, one of which is a human hair synthetic blend. So stay tuned. Recently, Ellen Villa contacted me and said we'd like to send you some wigs in different colors and styles to show your audience. And I thought that's a great idea because they will probably send things that I might not have chosen myself. So they sent me seven wigs, one of which is a human hair synthetic blend, which I've been dying to try, so I can't wait to see what that feels like. All of these wigs are over at Franny'sHair.com, and I will put links in the description below so that you can go check them out. One thing I do want to mention is that Ellen Villa's color system is a bit different than other brands. I did do a video on that explaining everything about the color system. I'm going to put a link here so that you can go take a look at that. All right, so let's get started with these wigs. This first wig is Nerano, and I have looked at Nerano online, and I've considered getting it, especially because it reminded me of Sunset, which was my old go-to wig. So we're going to take a look at this. This is in the color Ivory Gray Shaded. I'm going to spin first, and then we'll talk about the style. Now, Ellen Villa is known for having low density and low permatease wigs, and this feels low density, and I don't feel any permatease in here. Also, somebody had asked me, could you please mention the sizes that each wig that you show comes in? So this one comes in petite average, and petite average is Ellen Villa's average size. I'll let you know how it fits me, which reminds me, my circumference is 21 and a half inches. My face from forehead to chin is eight and a half inches. Ear to ear, I'm 11 and a half inches. And from hairline to nape, I'm 12 and a half inches. All right, so let's talk about Nerano. Nerano is described as the Nerano wig from the Ellen Villa High Energy Modix Collection is a stunning and timeless bob. The fringe naturally sweeps to the side due to the left monofilament parting, and side layers will fall perfectly into place, creating a soft, graduating look. The lace front on Nerano creates a natural-looking hairline, and the mono part creates a natural parting area that will look like your own biological hair. Nerano is so lightweight to wear and will become an instant favorite. And like I said, this is low density. Don't feel any permities. Let's talk about the measurements. The measurements, the front is eight and a half inches. There you go. That's the measurement of my forehead to chin. The crown, 10 and a half inches. The nape, three and a half inches. The sides, seven and a half inches. And she weighs 3.2 ounces. So let's take a look at the hairline here, the lace front. Hopefully you can see that. And the monofilament part there. The color ivory gray shaded is described as pearl platinum and dark ash blonde blend with dark shaded roots. So hopefully you can see that there. Okay, now let's take a look at the ear tab so we can see the coverage we get here. Hopefully you can see that there. I forgot to talk about this fit of this, which I will in one second. So you got pretty good coverage here, it looks like. Any hair up here is mine. And, you know, uh, people talk about how to make a wig look more natural. Now my hair is short right now, but what I used to like to do when I had a little bit more hair is right here where my hair is going back under the wig, I like to pull that out a little. So that if somebody sees me from the side, this part of my hair is coming out of my head. Now if that color doesn't match the wig, I can use a root powder to make it match. I find with most blonde wigs, my gray hair blends, but if I'm wearing a brunette wig, then I can use a darker root powder. But you can see when this is pulled back and you have the line of the wig, that looks less natural than if I were to just 
pull some of this out like that. So there's a little tip for making it look a little more natural. All right. Let me grab the glasses and we'll try those on. Okay, so let's try the glasses on under the ear tabs. I feel that a little bit. And over the ear tabs, not at all. That's how I would wear it. All right, let's take this color outside and see how it looks. Okay, so here you go, ivory gray shaded, 101 and 14. You can see the really light, that's the 101. And the ash blonde is the 14. And then there you have the root color. I'm not exactly sure what color that is, but I think it looks nice with this. Hmm, I like it. Okay, before I take the cap off and show you the cap, this is fitting me perfectly. I don't think I'd need to adjust it. I, well, I could maybe make it a little bit tighter, but it's fitting me really well. So we'll take a look at where the adjusters are. All right, now let's look at the cap. Yeah, I could definitely tighten it a little bit. All right, so we have a temple to temple lace front, the left monofilament part, and it's a decently wide part there. You have open wefting, velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, a regular nape, not extended, and it looks like the adjusters, let me just check, are, yeah, they're adjusted out to the ends. So this definitely could go tighter, and I would say it also goes up to an average, and there is some stretch here. You're not going to have stretch where you have the lace and the monofilament, but you will have stretch with the open wefting there. So I would say petite to average is accurate. Okay. So that is Nerano in ivory gray shaded. Okay, this next one is Nola in Bahama beige shaded. I'll spin and then we'll talk about her. Okay, Nola is described as if you love bobs, beach waves, and light wear wigs, then this is the perfect style for you. Nola from Ellen Villa High Energy Modex Collection offers open and natural waves with a fringe that beautifully sweeps to the side due to the left monofilament parting. Her cap design features an extended lace front for the most natural hairline appearance that extends from ear tab to ear tab. Nola is bound to become your favorite wavy style and brings you right into the trendy world of bohemian chic. Okay, so she does have the wave at the bottom here that you can see. It's not a lot of wave. The top is straighter, definitely, but you get a little bit at the bottom there. As far as density goes, she feels low density. I don't feel permatease in here either. Okay, her measurements, the front is 8 inches. Yeah, the shorter piece is there, <laughs> if I can get them out. Okay, I know they're here. There we go. Front is 8 inches. The crown, 9.25 inches. The nape, 4 inches. The sides, 7.5 inches. And she weighs just 2.9 ounces. So she's even lighter than Nerano that I showed you. I can't feel the difference. Okay, she has an extended lace front. So let's see if you can see the lace front here. And a monofilament part. This is the color Bahama Bay Shaded, which is described as medium blonde and lightest gold blonde with light strawberry blonde blend and shaded roots. And if you ever want to know when you're on the website at franniesair.com, the description of the Ellen Villa colors, what you do is you click on the color that you're looking at and underneath the photo of that color there's a description okay so let's take a look at the ear tabs here we go and again i would just pull some of mine out making it look a little bit more natural but there is good coverage here because you can hardly see any of my hair and my hair does usually extend further beyond the ear tab so this is giving me really good coverage. Okay, let's try the glasses. 
under the ear tabs, I would feel that. Over the ear tabs, perfectly fine. And this one's actually fitting me snugger than Nerano was, so we'll look at where the adjusters are. Oh, and this comes in, let me tell you, petite average. Okay, let's go take a look at the color outside. Okay, here you go, Bahama Beige Shaded. You can see all the blondes in there. This does look like a darker blonde to me. Maybe a very lightest brown. I'm not really sure, but maybe you can tell. Let me know what you think. Okay, I'm definitely losing it. I normally take my phone outside to show you the color. I took my computer outside instead of my phone and I had to come back in and get my phone. I think I'm so tired from yesterday. In the morning when I walk on the treadmill, I watch videos and since I'm redoing the studio, I'm watching a lot of decorating videos. And then somehow when you're on YouTube, you go down that rabbit hole. I don't know if it happens to you, but I end up watching. I don't even know how I get to certain videos, but I end up watching all kinds of stuff. So I was watching somebody who said, oh, I'm gonna declutter my closet and clean it out. And I thought, oh, that's a great idea. I really should do that. I need to do that. And she said, step one, take everything out of your closet. Okay, I'm gonna do it. So <laughs> I took everything out of my closet. I had no idea how many hours it was going to take me to do this. So finally, last night, I crawled into bed exhausted. At one point, my husband said, we are going to be able to sleep on the bed tonight, right? <laughs> All right, back to the wigs. Okay, so this one is fitting me more snugly than the last one, and we'll take a look at the adjusters when we look at the cap. Okay, so... You have your extended lace front that's ear tab to ear tab, your mono part, your open wefting, the velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, the extended nape and Velcro adjusters, which are out to the edge, basically. So I'm going to say this is petite average. It'll go to an average. Definitely not beyond that. Okay, and that's Nola in Bahama Bay Shaded. <laughs> okay, next up is Movie Star in Dark Sand Rooted. And I forgot to mention, none of these wigs so far have been heat friendly. So they're all just a basic synthetic wig. All right, she has some curl here. Let me spin for you and show you that first. So if you're looking for a bob with curl, this definitely has more curl and more volume at the bottom there. I would probably have to do something with the bang, either cut a bang into it, which could be really cute with this, or uh, I'd have to style this back. Okay, so let's see what it says about Movie Star. Get red carpet glam in a snap with Movie Star by Ellen Villa. This cropped bob is part of the Perucci collection and offers stunning barrel curls. This styles premium synthetic fibers look and feel like human hair. This do will have you embracing your sassy self in no time. <laughs> okay, so it's not a monofilament part, it's a monofilament crown. And what a monofilament crown does for you is it's less dense right there where you would naturally be less dense with your own hair because the hair comes out of the crown. Uh, so it gives it a more natural appearance back there. And this has the extended lace front. So hopefully you can see that there. Okay, and let's talk measurements. The front is six and a half inches. The crown, eight and a half inches. The nape, three and a half inches the side seven inches, 
and this weighs just 2.8 ounces. It looks like a lot more hair, and it actually weighs less than the other two I just showed you. It's so interesting how that works. Again, it feels low density, and I'm not feeling any permatease in here either. If you're looking for wigs that are lower density with less permatease, Ellenville is going to be a good brand for you in general. There are some wigs that may have a little bit of permatease, but they really keep it to a minimum. Okay, the color Dark Sand Rooted is described as a light brown base with lightest ash brown and medium honey blonde blend and dark roots. So hopefully you can see all of that there. Really pretty color. Okay, let's take a look at the ear tabs. So here you go. This is my hair up here. You can see that. And again, I would probably just pull it out so that if you're looking at me from the side, you see hair coming out of my head. I think that just really adds to the natural look of a wig, just like that. And if my hair is shorter, which it is in most cases than the wig, I'll pull it out and kind of brush it back with the hair. But just so that you can see that the hair is coming out of my head, that makes it look so much more natural. All right, let's try the glasses. Under the ear tabs, no problem with this one. Over the ear tabs, still no problem. And she's fitting me very well. I would not adjust her at all, so I'll check and see where the adjusters are. Okay, let's take a look at this color outside. Okay, so dark sand rooted, you have your lightest brown, the golden blonde that may have a little bit of red in it. You might see some of that there, I'm not sure. And then your dark ash blonde. Yeah, for me, I definitely need to do something with the front of this here. All right, let's take a look at the cap. It's time for me to get my hair cut. It's starting to stick out a lot. Okay, so here we go. We have the extended lace front from ear tab to ear tab. I don't know if there's permatease up here. I mean, it's possible. If there is, it doesn't feel like a lot. And here's the monofilament crown. You have velvety ear tabs with the metal stays, open wefting, the extended nape. This is interesting. These Velcro adjusters, look, they are outside of the nape area. And that was fitting me snugly. So this will definitely fit a petite, and this one comes in petite average. Um, and I would say it probably goes up to an average, but it might feel a little bit snug. I'm going to try putting the adjusters on the nape area and see how that feels on me, and that'll give me a better idea for you. And let's take a look at the stretch in this, too, because it really doesn't have much in the way of features on the cap. So there is more stretch in this. All right, let me try putting her back on now that the adjusters are on the nape area. Yeah, okay. She, she'll she definitely go to average. Petite to average is accurate. All right, on to the next. My husband just walked down the steps and said, holy mackerel, that's white. <laughs> so this is Gala in silver mix, and she is very white. She's a combination of 101 and 60. So the 101 is your pearl platinum, and the 60 is a white. So this is a very light color. It's not a color that I would wear. Try to picture the color on you or the style without this color. Uh, I don't think I'm pulling it off very well. All right. The one thing I can say about this is low, low density, zero permatease, and very, very light. So if you're looking for a pixie that's really light, this could be the answer for you. So let's read the description. Gala by Ellen Villa is a sassy short shag wig from the iconic hair society part of me collection. This 
textured style features an extended lace front, double monofilament top, and partially hand-tied cap. Ellen Villa's passion for premium hair design makes this style realistic and ultra comfortable to wear. It is comfortable. I don't even feel like I'm wearing anything. With the standard Ellen Villa light density and extended lace front, this is alternative hair realism. Gala is ready to wear right out of the box. Okay, so I'm going to spin and show you this style. And I didn't do anything to it. I just put it on. You could play with the sides here. Maybe put it behind your ear if you want. All right, <laughs> let me turn. Nothing happening. <laughs> Okay, let's talk measurements. The front is 3.25 inches, so I could wear this as a bang. Might even be a little on the short side. I'd probably tussle it up a little bit. I have this weird dryness in the back of my throat, so I'm sorry if my voice sounds funny or if I keep choking. Um, and I would maybe put her behind my ears a little bit. It's hard for me because I have this dark hair under here that's showing, so it might have been better for me to show you this in a different color, but it's also good to see the different colors that are available. So again, this is silver mix. All right, so the front, 3.25 inches, the crown, 3.75, the nape, 2.5, the sides, 3 inches, and she weighs just 1.48 ounces, so very, very light. Let's look at the ear tabs. Okay, well, it's going to be easy to see which hair is my hair here. Um, so that's the coverage I get with the ear tab here. Yeah, it's less coverage for me than the other styles. You see a lot of my hair sticking out there. So I would, if I were going to wear her, I would pull the hair forward. All right, let's try the glasses. Under the ear tabs, I can feel it a little bit, but I could wear it. Over the ear tabs, perfectly fine. This wig is also a petite to average. She's fitting me perfectly. I wouldn't need to adjust her, but I can tell you that the adjusters are at the ends of the nape because I adjusted it before I put it on. So when we look at the cap, we'll look and see how much stretch is there. All right, let's take this color outside. Okay, so here you go. This is silver mix. It's, it's white and a platinum pearl, they call it. So it is very silver white in color. Okay, so let's take a look at this cap. It's really a beautiful cap. You have your extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab, your double monofilament part there. Hopefully you can see that. It's all hand tied in here. And then you have some closed wefting toward the back here. Your ear tabs are velvety and they have the metal stays. You have your extended nape there and your Velcro adjusters. Oh, and I said we'd check the stretch on this. So there is stretch on this. So again, this is a petite to average, and that sounds accurate. Okay, that's Gala in Silver Mix. Okay, this is Elegance Mono in Nature White Mix, but it's a mix of the same colors, 60 and 101. I don't know why they sent me two very similar colors, but they did. This one is the Human Hair Synthetic Blend, and this feels so good. There is definitely a difference. Oh my goodness. This feels like hair. It's amazing. An amazing feel. And the beauty of a partially synthetic, partially human hair wig is that you don't have to style it every time you wash it like you do with human hair. So uh, I've, I've been dying to try this blend. I'm going to have to get one in a color that suits me better. <laughs> okay, so this is Elegance. And it says the Elegance wig from 
Prime Power Collection is a beautiful relaxed bob style that lands right above the shoulders. The Prime Power Collection is luxurious and a first class product made up of human hair and heat friendly synthetic fibers. The combinational blend gives you a style that moves and feels like human hair with the convenience of synthetic hair. The extended lace front will provide a natural looking front hairline that extends from ear tab to ear tab. The double monofilament allows for versatile styling, parting options, as well as provides all day comfort with the soft double material. This style is pure quality that gives you an incredibly natural look. So this is a heat friendly wig and it's the first heat friendly wig that we've seen out of the ones they've sent us. All right, let's look at the measurements. The front, says is seven inches. Let's see if there's a shorter piece. I'm not seeing a seven inch piece considering, is this shorter here? Or maybe this piece there? There's one in there that seems shorter. Yeah, maybe. But considering I'm eight and a half inches here to here. The crown is 10 inches. The nape, 3.25. The sides, 8 inches, and she weighs 3.6 ounces. Let's take a look at the lace front. Now, it's hard to tell how natural it looks, you know, against my skin and all. This color is not me at all. And you have a full monofilament top, double monofilament top, so you can part her anywhere. You can see that there. I, I can't even, I wish you could feel the fibers through the camera. This feels so nice. I just want to run my fingers through my hair. <laughs> All right, let me spin and show you this style. Okay, the color Nature White Mix is described as Pearl White and Pearl Platinum Blend, which is the same as the last wig, the gala, that I showed you. And let's take a look at the ear tabs. Here we go. So you can see the ear tab coverage here. I have my hair here. There you go, and the glasses under the ear tabs, they feel fine. Over the ear tabs, also fine. I do like the bob style. It's a classic style, and with this, with the longer front, you could also pull some back which would be really cute. Oh, that would be really cute. All right, let's take this lady outside. Okay, so here you have the Nature White Mix, and you can even see the look of the fibers looks very natural, and it feels so natural. I never realized how difficult it is to film when your voice isn't up to par. I just keep choking. I apologize for the sound of my voice. All right, so let's take a look at the cap. Okay, so here you go. You have your extended lace front, ear tab to ear tab, your double monofilament top there. You have closed wefting here, a velvety ear tab with the metal stay, the extended nape with the Velcro adjusters. And this fit me fine. I could have actually tightened it up a little bit. Let's see if there's any stretch in this. So I would say a petite, it'll definitely fit a petite to average. And you do have a little bit of stretch in there. The one thing I wanted to say about this is the reason that I have stayed away from wearing full human hair wigs is because I am terrible at styling hair. I always have been. And with a human hair wig, you have to style it every time you wash it. Plus, they are more expensive. Now, this blend is more expensive than your regular synthetic wig. But because it has human hair and synthetic, heat-friendly synthetic hair, and heat-friendly 
synthetics are more natural feeling than your regular synthetic. So you have your human hair and a synthetic that's more natural feeling blended together. You end up with the feel of human hair, the look of human hair, and you don't have to style it. So I think this is a great choice for people who really want it to feel like human hair, don't want to put in the styling, and don't want to spend quite as much as a human hair piece. I'm definitely going to have to get one of these blends for myself. I really cannot get over the feel of this. Okay, so that is Elegance in Nature White Mix, the Human Hair Synthetic Blend. Look at that. Okay, meet Flirt in Salt and Pepper Mix. This is a really pretty color and a pretty style. I like this. All right, so Flirt is described as the Flirt wig by Ellen Villa is part of the 2019 Changes collection. It has an elegant feminine appeal and is a shoulder length look softly hitting below the chin. The soft cap has a monofilament parting to create the illusion of natural growth and a lace front for an invisible hairline finish. The long layered bangs can be softly tucked behind your ear for an even softer look. Have fun and flirt away in your new style. All right, so let's take a look at the hairline, at the lace front here. Hopefully you can see that. And I find Ellen Villa does nice lace fronts. And the monofilament part. This one is not heat friendly. The front is eight inches. The crown, 11 and a half inches. The nape, four inches. The sides, seven inches. And she weighs 3.8 ounces. As far as density goes, definitely low density. I don't feel any permatease. Really, if you're looking for low density, no permatease, check out Ellen Villa. All right, I'm gonna spin, show you the style. And I would probably wear her behind the ear like that. That would be really cute. Pull her back both sides. That would be really nice. Let's see if she's long enough for a little ponytail back here. Yeah, you could get a little ponytail. Nice style. So the color is a blend of 39, 44, and 60, and we already know the 60 is the white that we're seeing in here, and the 39 and 44 are gray blends. This is a really beautiful color. All right, let's take a look at the ear tabs. There you go there. This would be a great color for my hair to come out. Let's pull a little bit out there. <laughs> my natural color seems to be a salt and pepper these days so I could just pull this out and then if you look at me from the side it's going to look natural like the hair's coming out of my head because it is <laughs> all right let's try the glasses on under the ear tabs fine over the ear tabs, also fine. As far as fit goes, she's fitting me perfectly. We will check the adjusters when we get back in, but let's go out and check out the color. Okay, so here you go, the salt and pepper. Such a pretty color. You can see the white in there and the gray blends. I was just walking through the kitchen and caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror. I would totally wear this style. All right, let's check out the cap. Hello, Bumala. My daughter's dog is visiting. He is the sweetest, sweetest dog. Let's see if I can show you. Okay, Boomy. There he is. Say hi. <laughs> He's a Bernadoodle. Okay, so... Let's take a look at the cat. I said to my daughter, he's so good, look at him sitting. She said, of course he's sitting, you're giving him a piece of cheese. <laughs> Granny likes to spoil him. All right, so there's an extended lace front here. 
a mono part. This is a more narrow mono part. It goes all the way back to the crown, it looks like, so you're going to have less density in the crown area. You have the velvety ear tab with the metal stays, the extended nape, and the Velcro adjusters are in a little bit, so this would definitely go to an average, and it is a petite average, and there is some stretch in there. All right, so that is Flirt in Salt and Pepper Mix. Okay, meet Sing in Chocolate Rooted. And Sing is described as, Sing from Ellen Villa Changes Collection is a trendy bob with a blunt fringe. The bob style is smooth and sleek out of the box and is made with heat-friendly synthetic fiber, so it's heat-friendly. So you will have the ability to style your way. The lace front feature will create a natural looking front hairline and the mono part will allow for a natural growth appearance. Get ready to feel trendy and beautiful in this new style. So let's look at the lace front there. You can see that. And the monofilament part. All right. And the front is three and a half inches. So you could definitely wear this with a bang. I would probably put it behind my ears with the bang. I love that look together. The crown is 10 inches. The nape is 2.75 inches. The sides, 6 inches. And she weighs just 2.6 ounces. Again, low density. I don't feel any permatease whatsoever. Let me spin and show you the style. really cute. For you ladies who like bangs, this is a great one. Okay, the color Chocolate Rooted is described as a medium brown blended with light auburn and dark strawberry blonde with shaded roots. So there you go. Hopefully you can see that there. And let's look at the ear tabs. Got good coverage on this one. You can see it there. This here is my hair. And if I were to pull it out a little bit, I would just use a root powder to match it up. There you go. The other ear tab. And let's try the glasses. Under the ear tabs. I would feel that. Over the ear tabs, no problem. All right, let's take this color outside. Okay, here's the chocolate rooted, definitely a warm toned color. You can see the brown and the auburn in there. Okay, let's take a look at the cap. Okay, you have a lace front, temple to temple, a center part, velvet ear tabs with metal stays, open wefting, an extended nape, and the adjusters are in a little bit. This would definitely go to an average. This was fitting me fine. So petite to average, accurate, a little bit of stretch. There you go. That is Sing in Chocolate Rooted. Okay, so there you have it. Seven wigs from Ellen Villa, including that human hair synthetic blend. Let me know what you thought of them in the comments below. Have you tried one of those human hair synthetic blends? Let me know what you think of that as well. If you have any questions at all, feel free to put them in the comments. Also, head on over to franniesHair.com. You can fill out a contact form over there, and we will answer your question as quickly as possible. Don't forget, I have a private Facebook group, Franny's Hair. Come join us. We have over 3,000 members, people sharing pictures of themselves, in all different wigs. So if you're looking for a wig and you want to see wigs on real people, that's the way to do it. There's a lot of support there, tips, tricks, and we have our wig experts over there. It's a lot of fun, so come join us. All right, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.